In this video we prepare catechol. Catechol, also called pyrocatechol or 1,2-dihydroxybenzene is used in the chemical industry to obtain pesticides, perfumes, pharmaceutical products and flavorings such as vanilla. In this operation we are going to obtain the catechol using salicylaldehyde as a precursor. Salicylaldehyde is obtained by the rima tiemann reaction by reacting chloroform with sodium phenylate. You can see this reaction in one of my videos that I leave the link in the comments. The first thing we are going to do is purify the salicylaldehyde using the sodium bisulfite method. We put 50 grams of salicylaldehyde and 170 milliliters of 38% sodium bisulfite solution in a 250 milliliters beaker. Keep stirring vigorously for 40 minutes. After 30 minutes, an insoluble white solid forms, this is a bisulfite addition compound with the aldehyde. We separated the solid by vacuum suction and washed it twice with 20 milliliters of diethyl ether. Put the crystals in a 500 ml glass and add a solution of 40 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid in 200 ml of water. Once the diluted sulfuric acid has been added, put the glass in a warm water bath and shake for 30 minutes. In this operation, sulfur dioxide is released, which is very irritating, working in a fume hood or outdoors. An orange oil is observed floating on the surface. After 30 minutes, Put the contents of the glass into a separating funnel and leave it to rest for 12 hours to decant all the purified salicylaldehyde. After 12 hours decant the floating oil and weigh into a 250ml Erlenmeyer flask. The result is 18.3 grams. Put the flask on a stir plate and add a solution of 6 grams of sodium hydroxide in 150ml of water. Stir for a few minutes until the solution is homogeneous. When the solution is homogeneous, add 40 milliliters of 30% hydrogen peroxide. If 30% hydrogen peroxide is not available, use 400 milliliters of 3% peroxide and change the 250 milliliters flask to a liter one. The solution becomes dark and the temperature increases to 60 degrees. Leave to rest for 20 hours. Over time the solution becomes darker. Add 1 milliliter of glacial acetic acid to remove all traces of alkali. Evaporate to complete dryness in a hot water bath under vacuum. Once all the water has evaporated, a dark residue remains in the flask, add 25 milliliters of toluene and we will eliminate all the water with a Dean Stark. Assemble a Dean Stark and fill with 25 milliliters of toluene. Heat the flask to distill the toluene water azeotrope. Remove the distilled water that separates in the Dean Stark. Distill until no water drops are observed. To recrystallize the impure catechol we are going to perform a soplet extraction. Assemble a funnel with pleated filter paper on the flask that we are going to use in the soplet extractor. With the flask still hot, tip it onto a filter paper and, using a ring support, leave it upside down so that the contents fall onto the filter paper. The rest that remains in the flask is broken with a rod and dragged with toluene over the filter. As there was a lot of residue left in the flask, I diluted it with ethanol by heating at reflux for a few minutes. The catechol and ethanol solution was placed in an evaporation dish and evaporated in a hot water bath until dry. Now in the evaporation capsule it is easier to remove the residue with a spatula. 
The residue from the filter funnel and capsule is put into a socklet extractor. The solid has been subjected to extraction with 100 milliliters of toluene for three hours. After three hours of extraction, as the solid was not finely ground, I crushed it with a spatula in the extractor. The extraction lasted a total of eight hours. The toluene extraction was left in the refrigerator for 12 hours and the solid was collected by vacuum suction. Dry the product by suction on the filter funnel for one hour. We have let the product dry by heat at 40 degrees for a few hours and the melting point has been checked. The melting point obtained was between 80 and 90 degrees, a very low value. The melting point of pure catechol is 103 to 106 degrees. To purify the catechol we are going to recrystallize it from toluene. Put the catechol obtained in a 100 milliliters beaker and add 12 milliliters of toluene. Heat until all the solid is dissolved. Put the hot solution in a 10 milliliters beaker. In the 100 milliliters beaker there remains a black residue at the bottom. We let it cool so that the catechol crystallizes. Collect by suction and dry at 50 degrees in an oven. In the second melting point test it gave a value of 105 degrees, much closer to the melting point of pure catechol. The yield of this synthesis depends greatly on the purity of salicylaldehyde. In our synthesis, a yield of 24.25% was obtained.